watch. Yeah, yeah. they really can yeah. be fun to watch. Uh, really cool. Wacky see. weather of the yeah. week. Yeah, I mean. I get the uh, ABC News updates on my cell phone. I'm looking at the phone. Deadly lightning strikes in Los Angeles County. Hard to believe, but yeah. yeah. Many people injured if just tuning in. At least 13 sent to the hospital in L.A. County because of those lightning strikes. Mostly out towards uh, Venice Beach and Avalon, Catalina Island. Yeah. Now, we saw some record-setting rainfall today around Santa Maria. Just a trace amount. That does it usually for the summer months. Santa Barbara, no precipitation today in the downtown area. Here's a live cam view, and we can see mostly to part cloudy skies out there so there's a lot of humidity as the clouds continue to move in from the south but that's going to change for us as we head towards your Tuesday so some good news ahead in that forecast Koyama 92 degrees 81 in Gaviota still in the 80s and slow in 94 in Paso Robles look at the difference today versus yesterday not only is it more humid everyone pretty much running warmer than yesterday except Oxnard but they're only a degree cooler than what we saw this time yesterday and the humidity values the fact that they're in the 50s and 60s even 70 percentile range for relative humidity this time of the day without the sea breeze and that marine layer that says something it's not quite that ocean air that's bringing the humidity it's that monsoonal flow that shift in the winds no rainfall locally at 515 but the live storm tracker is showing some storm cells out towards Bakerfield Bakersfield and for those heading along the 15 from Barstow to Vegas or along the 40 out of California a few pretty good storm cells popping up in the deserts of far eastern California. Let me back up the view to give you an idea of how unsettled the west is. All this moisture moving from south to north, it's rotating around a ridge of high pressure that's located over eastern New Mexico. For us tomorrow, I think we start to lose the humidity a little bit. Still some clouds mixed with sunshine, some breezy winds in the afternoon hours. Uh, out across the Santa Barbara and Ventura areas, we'll see temperatures ranging from 79 to 90. The valleys tomorrow, upper 80s to upper 90s. Future cast lets us know if any more rain is ahead. Again, drier conditions tomorrow, but still some clouds out there mixed with sun throughout the day. And then by Wednesday, look at this. Future cast may be showing some more rainfall out across interior parts of Ventura County, out towards the Riverside, San Bernardino areas in eastern Los Angeles County as that monsoonal moisture moves back into our area. The good news here this go around, I think it'll be out of the out of southwestern California again as we head towards Thursday and Friday. So for tomorrow, we'll call it partly cloudy, warm and breezy, 90 in Montecito, 86 in Santa Barbara, 80 in Goleta. A little less humid across the central coast. Temperatures closest to the coast, upper 60s to 70s. A little bit farther inland, we're in the 80s tomorrow with some 90s around Paso and Atascadero. Looking across Ventura County, less humid here. Still in the upper 90s in Ojai, 89 in Santa Paula, and 79 tomorrow afternoon in Ventura. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast. Fewer clouds out there Tuesday, but then again, with the increase in humidity, we'll see a mostly cloudy day by Wednesday. San Luis Obispo temperatures here in the 80s over the next seven days, but warmest by the end of the week. And for San Inez, an additional uh, amount of cloud cover out there for Wednesday. Again, that humidity rolling back in. Uh, we'll have to keep close eye.